Hi, I'm Bill Hitchcock and I'm continuing on this series of number conversion video clips. On part six, what we're going to be doing is counting in different numbered bases. And at first it'll seem kind of easy, then a little bit we'll get kind of confused, but we'll see what we can do with it. So normally when we count, we think of starting at zero, add one to it, we get one, add one to that, we get two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. All right, so that's what we would think when we're counting in decimal, or in other words, in base 10. Now when you add one to nine, what you're really getting is zero in the ones position, and then you carry one in the tens, and you get one ten, zero ones, or we think of that number as 10. Add one to that, we'd have one, carry our 10 down, 1, 1, or in other words, 11. Add 1 to this, we'd get 2, carry this down. 1, 10, plus 2, 1's is 12. 3, 1, 4, 1, or 14. So we push this along here. 5, 1, 6, 1, 7, 1, 8, 1, 18. 9, 1, and then we add one more to this, and we've got 10. So we write down a 0, we carry the 1, 1 plus 1 is 2, and we think of that number as being 20. So 21, 22, 23, and I'm running out of room for my camera, but 24 is, is down here. So as we do this, if you look at this, we've got 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. There's 10 digits that I've got. Hang on, let me try this down here. I've got 10 digits here. We repeat them again. 10 digits, 0 through 9. And I would do it down at the bottom. 0 through 9, 0 through 9, 0 through 9. It's just going to keep repeating over and over again. All right, now let's think about a different numbered base. What if we tried binary, which is base 2? Well, in base 2, you only have two digits, zeros and ones. So in binary, 0 is 0. And we'll find out in all these other number bases in, if you will, trinary or base 3, 0 is still 0. All right. In binary, we add 1 to 0. We got 1. Then we want to get the next number. If I add 1 to that, well really it's 1 plus 1, which is 2. But in binary, I can't write the number 2. So I have to write down a 0. I carry the 1, and I get 1, 0. Or in other words, 0, 1's, and 1 in the 2's column. We add 1 to that. 1 plus 0 is 1. 1 and we bring our 1 down. And I've got 1 in the 1's column plus 1 in the 2's column, which is 3. Add a 1 to this. 1 plus 1 is 2. So I write a 0, carry the 1. 1 plus 1 is 2. So 0, carry the 1. And we get 1, 0, 0. That's 4. It's 0, 1's, 0, 2's, 1 in the 4's position, or 1 in the 2 squared position. Add 1 to it. 1, 0, 1. 4 plus 1 gives me 5. Add 1 to this. That's 2, so I write a 0. Carry my 1. 1 plus 0 is 1. Bring the 4 down. 4 plus 2 plus 0 is indeed 6. Add 1. 1, 1, 1. There's 7. Add a 1 to this. That's 2, so 0. Carry the 1. That's 2. 0. Carry the 1. That's 2. 0, carry the 1. 1, 0, 0. Notice as I'm doing this, every time it's just changing. 0, 1, 0, 1, 0, 1, 0, 1, 0, 1. It, you know, we've, we've just got two digits here, so in this case it's, it's always just repeating over and over again. So 9 would be a 1, 0, 0, 1. 10 is going to be 0 carry the 1, 1, 0, 1, or in other words, 8 plus 2 is 10, 
one, one, zero, one. Add one to that, zero, zero, one, one, eight, plus four, plus zero, plus zero, twelve. One, zero, one, one, zero, one, 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 and fifteen is one, 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 one. And if you want to keep on going, you know, we could keep doing some of these numbers. But you'll get kind of the idea about how these numbers start repeating over and over. Now, a couple things that you can do. If you're trying to do all these calculations, all right, probably the easiest way to do is we can set up this in an Excel spreadsheet. And there's actually a conversion. There's a function that will take a decimal number, convert it to binary, and it'll help you to do all those numbers so you can check them. Otherwise, you'd have to do them one at a time on a, on a number calculator to make sure you're getting the right numbers. But there's counting. All right, so stay with me. Let's try it in base 3, trinary. So we add 1 to this. In trinary, we're going to have three digits, 0, 1, and 2. So here's 1. 1 is 1. 1 in the 3's position, or 1 in the 1's position, sorry. Add 1 to that. We said we could use a 2 in trinary or base 3. So I've got a 2. We add 1 to this, and I've got 2 plus 1 is 3, or in other words, I have to write down a 0, carry the 1, and I've got 1, 0. 1 in the 3's position, 0 in the 1's position. Add 1 to that, 1, 1. 3 plus 1 is 4. Add 1 to this, that's a 2. 1, 3 plus 2, 1's is 5. Add a 1 to this, that's 3. So I write down a, a 0, carry the 1. I get 2, 0. 2 times 3 is 6, and 0, 1's. Add a 1, 2, 1. Add a 1, 2, 2. Add a 1, that's 3. So I write down a 0, carry the 1. 1 plus 2 is 3, so 0, carry the 1. And we get 1, 0, 0. So notice on here, it's repeating 0, 1, 2. 0, 1, 2, 0, 1, 2, 0, 1, 2 is what I'm going to see repeated here. 1, 0, 1, 1, 0, 2. And if you think about this number, this is the 1's column, 3 to the 0. This is the 3's, 3 to the 1st. This is 3 squared, or 9. I've got 9 plus 0 plus that. Sure enough, I've got 9. Add a 1 to this, we get a 0, 1, 1. 9 plus 3 plus 0, 1's is indeed 12. And we can keep carrying this down. All right, let's try base 4. 0 is 0. 1 is 1. 2 is 2. 3 is 3. I've got 4 digits, 0, 1, 2, and 3. 4 is... Add 1 to this. 3 plus 1 is 4, so I write down a 0, carry the 1. It's 1, 0. 1, 1, 1, 2, 1, 3. Add a 1 to that. It's 4, so 0, carry the 1. It's 2, 0. This is, remember, this is the 1's place, so 0, 1's. 2 in the 4's place, 2 times 4 is 8, and sure enough, that's what we're getting here. 2, 1. 2, 2, 2, 3. Add a 1 to this. That's 4, so 0, carry the 1. 3, 0. 3 times 4 is indeed 12, and that's what I'm getting. 3, 1, 3, 2, 3, 3. Add a 1 to this. I get 4, so 0, carry the 1. That's 4, 0, carry the 1. 1, 0, 0 is indeed 16 because it's 4 to the 0, 4 to the 1st, 4 squared, which is 16. 1, 0, 1, 1, 0, 2, 1, 0, 3, etc. And we can carry this sequence on. All right, we can do base 5. 0, 1, 2, 3, and 4. 5 will be 1, 0. 
one 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 two one three one four not one five it's going to be zero two zero because I've got two in the fives position zero in the ones notice one two three four one two three four one two three four but it's two 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 zero one two three four and three 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 and if you think about this three zero base five three times five is fifteen and we're getting the right numbers so out of all of this all right the, this counting idea it's a it's a little bit tricky but again if we keep on going out we can we can figure this out if you notice notice how i've got this one zero one zero one zero kind of going down in a diagonal like this one zero base x equals x base 10. so one zero base 5 equals oops sorry equals 5 base 10 1 0 base 5 equals 5 base 10 so there's an identity that you can use and, and we can try doing that so there's a start at counting with number conversions we're going to continue on with this where we're actually going to go beyond base 10 and see what happens on on that next so let's wrap up this one and we'll start something up new a little bit later